And for more on this story, uh, Zvez uh, Bertoncini joins me now. He's the director of Jacques de Laws Institute, a European think tank. Thank you so much for your time. Now, the EU and rights groups have accused Turkey of using its anti-terror laws to stifle dissent. But Turkey says that it needs those anti-terror laws in order to fight terrorism, not only on home soil, but also in Syria. Tell us more about the ambiguities in the discord here. Is there no middle ground at all? Yes, you're right to mention the term ambiguities. Uh, what I must say first is that the EU-Turkey agreement at the moment is working. It's implemented. I mean, Turkey is doing its job, its job, meaning reducing the refugees flows going into Greece and then into Europe. So normally, on this basis, if it goes on, a uh, deal could be made, including in what you have uh, underlined, meaning this, this problem as regards the anti-terrorist law in Turkey. But for this, there is a need to have goodwill from both sides. I wonder whether we are facing a game of bluff between Mr. Erdogan and Brussels, or if it's more substantial. If it's only a game of bluff, yes, there is a ground to reach a compromise, and then to have, on the one hand, a terrorist law in Turkey, which is a bit more narrow in its scope, and on the other hand, finally, in September, October, the visa exemption for Turkish citizens, which has been presented as a reward uh, in the EU-Turkey deal. Turkey's always had a very strong stance in terms of its terror law, though. I mean, what is it that the EU genuinely wants from Turkey? How do they see the anti-terror law being softened here in order to suit their needs? I think if you mention the EU, you have to distinguish the European Parliament, which is very, very liberal, standing for human rights. And on the other side, uh, the member states, uh, the heads of states and government, the interior ministers, which could be a bit more flexible, meaning uh, practicing more real politic. But you will have, I mean, t the Turks will have to, to deal with both actors because both of them, the parliament and the member states have to give their say and then their okay for a visa exemption. Uh, what is uh, looked for by both actors, meaning the parliament and the member states, is an anti-terror law which would be a bit more narrow in its scope. It's not the idea to, to, to say that there is no terrorist threat in Turkey. Of course there is a terrorist threat, especially from the, the, the Daesh, the Islamic State probably as well from the Turkish uh, uh, extremist, uh, the, the Kurdish, sorry, Kurdish extremist. But it's always only to try and have a law which doesn't authorize okay. the Turkish police and authorities okay. to put into jail yeah. more innocent people, if I may say. So where to next, though? I mean, European politicians are piling pressure on Ankara, saying it's up to Turkey to feel, fulfill the criteria if it wants visa-free travel. But Ankara has repeatedly said that without visa liberalisation, there will be no migrant deals. So if this deal is off on Turkey's end, where does that leave Europe in terms of this very important migrant deal? Yeah, that's the leverage uh, in Mr Erdogan's hands, I would say. The fact is still controlling the refugees' flows through Turkey into Greece, which is done at the moment. I think if you restrict the discussion in the visa exemption uh, uh, issue, uh, then there are 72 criteria to be, made, to be met. And then Turkey has made huge efforts to reach almost all of them. There are only five left, including one on terrorist law. So if Mr. Erdogan, which, who has shown his flexibility as regards the delay, because he asked for the visa exemption in June, and now he talks of October. So if he can be a bit more flexible in this terrorist law, yes, of course, he, he will obtain the visa exemption. And I think there are hopes in Europe, especially at the member states level, to reach such compromise, so to preserve the deal in both interests, the interest of Turkey, Turkish citizens exempted from visa, but also the interest of the Europeans. Okay, really appreciate your contributions there. Thanks very much for your time.